Hello, this is Matt Hawes of The Happy Show. I'm here today with a video vlog. This video vlog is addressing the wrongful removal of one of my videos from my other account for The Happy Show. This account is the Matt Hawes channel, the Matt Hawes channel on YouTube, and I put vlogs and I put other segments that come from The Happy Show on this channel. On my other channel, The Happy Show, I usually put strictly ha The Happy Show materials, such as the full episodes and segments. That's why I chose to make this vlog for this account, because as a rule, I don't put vlogs on that other channel, but I will be addressing this matter with this channel. This has to do with the wrongful and shameful removal of a video I put up by Archie Comic Publications Incorporated last week, just before Thanksgiving. On Wednesday, November 21st, 2007, I was sent a notice from YouTube telling me that Archie Comic Publications Incorporated claimed that I infringed on its copyright with a video I made called Archie Andrews Dead. This video was a commentary on the comic book industry in general and used the characters of Archie to demonstrate a point. It is a parody and a video satire, which is covered by law when it comes to using elements from other things like Archie Comics publication. I feel that this has this video really is within its rights. It it was a satire on the industry in general. It was a parody on both the industry and Archie Comics characters. And it was a spoof of Archie Comics characters. That is why, in addition to, yes, the inclusion of panels and artwork from the actual Archie Comics for the use of satire, for the use of parody, I also had some comic book covers that were mock covers that I made. Keep in mind, we are talking about Archie Comic Publications Incorporated, the same company that brought a lawsuit against Mad Magazine for a parody called Starchy in the 1950s. They, therefore, have very little respect, it seems, for the freedoms that we all should enjoy when it comes to talking about and making satire and parody of different characters and organizations and such. Well, there's a reason why we protect parody, there's a reason why we protect satire, that's because we must have the right to criticize the government if we feel that we need to, and for corporations. If you can't, if you are, are you, you know, a corporation can dictate what we can or can't parody. How much longer is it before a government dictates what we can or can't parody? And that, that sounds like I'm putting being over the top. I'm not. This is serious. Again, Archie has already had a history of trying to silence parodies of its work. And this is disgusting to me that a corporation thinks it can dictate what people can or can't say. I had to fight Viacom a while back. Viacom was at least wise enough to review after they passed it along to their MTV legal department. MTV being the subsidiary of Viacom. And they passed along to the appropriate subsidiary that had to deal with the video at hand that I did in a parody of reality TV. The video was a spoof of reality TV in general and then specifically spoofed the real world, but even if it had, that is covered by law. We have such shows as Saturday Night Live and a South Park and any variety of late night television shows which spoof, parody, and satire, do satire on different things in culture, whether it's pop culture, which Archie Comics is definitely covered by pop culture. Whether it's corporations, they are covered by being a corporation. Whether it's political, they aren't covered by that. They're not political. But, as, as a rule. <laughs> and uh, just any variety of things that are in the public. And being a public company, it's not, uh, it's not held up any, to any higher regard than, say, the government itself, is it? So why should it escape any parody or satire? And I am a comic shop owner. That's what I do for my livelihood. I own and operate a comic book shop. I am actually a customer of Archie Comics. I order its product to sell to my customers. Therefore, they make money from me. And as a customer, I think I'm being treated very badly. And I do feel, as a customer, I also reserve my right to complain when I find things in the industry that I am unsatisfied with. And I am unsatisfied with cheap, disgusting tactics to, to sens sensationalize 
uh, matters to boost cells for temporary bases. Admittedly, Archie has not killed any of its characters. Not that they are beyond doing such tactics themselves. Uh, they have not, again, not killed any of their characters, but they have done some other drastic changes to its characters for the sake of making a quick buck. Uh, allegedly. So, I am fighting this, as if you can already tell, and I just wanted to make this a formal statement. I made a comment before, uh, on the day that I actually discovered that they had sent this, com they sent this complaint to YouTube and had my video removed, and I let it rest for the weekend because I wanted to put up my holiday videos, but I want to address formally what they have done, and I have sent a letter right here that has been faxed to both Archie Comics and to YouTube. And it is a formal complaint. I am formally challenging the removal of a video that I produced and uploaded to YouTube that was disabled due to a wrongful claim by a third party notification notification by Archie Comics Publications Incorporated. On Wednesday, November 21st, 2007, I received a notice from YouTube informing me that Archie Comic Publications Incorporated had YouTube removed the following video, alleging that the video infringed on its copyright. Archie Andrews dead, and then I include the web address for that, for that video, the URL. The accusation has no merit. The video I produce is a work of satire and parody, and this is even noted by the inclusion of the word parody as a tag to this video. The video is a commentary on the state of the comic book industry and how publishers use death as a marketing gimmick to boost sales. Any usage of materials from Archie Comics falls within the rights for a parody and or a satire. This being both. Furthermore, Archie Publications, Archie Comics Publications Incorporated is infringing on my right to free speech by trying to dictate that I cannot parody or satirize its character or the comic book industry. Archie Comic Publications Incorporated shameful disregard for the rights of people to parody and satire and offer commentary on the corporate world will not pass without stern objection from this quarter. I own and operate a comic book shop. I feel I have every right, not only as an American citizen, but as a business owner, and particularly a business owner that has actually provided Archie Comic Publications Incorporated with revenue to speak out and express my opinions on an industry from which I derive my livelihood. If that expression is to include a video, video parody and satire of the industry, I am covered by the laws governing this form of speech. I demand that Archie Comic Publications Incorporated allow YouTube to reinstate my video and that any strike against my YouTube account be lifted. The charge against me is wrongful and is shameful in its attempt to silence a critical voice with corporate bullying. Sincerely, Matthew Hawes. This is my formal objection and if you disagree feel free to comment. If you feel free, feel free to support my stand here, then leave a comment as well, leave video responses, whatever. If you would like to write to Archie Comic Publications, I'll leave a link to uh, their website probably too. So if you want to say, Raw, you're doing the right thing, this guy is not in his right, then go ahead. And if you agree with me, I appreciate the support and let Archie Comics know that this is a shameful, disgusting act on their part of corporate greed and corporate bullying and that some of us out here are actually going to fight this sort of thing. 